What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another unboxing video for you guys. And today we are doing the unboxing of the Little Mermaid live action remake from Disney. This is the soundtrack that just came out last week, came out the same day pretty much as the movie did. And it is now, I'd say probably like four to five days after, it's Tuesday. Let's just say the movie actually released on Thursday, the soundtrack released on the Friday after that. So it's been about four days or so since this came out. But this is the Target exclusive version, which comes with two collectible cards. Seems to be the thing that Target is doing lately. Compared to Walmart that usually does like posters and whatnot. But Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 soundtrack also came with two collectible cards from the Target exclusive. But anyways, I see this movie. The movie was a lot better than I expected. It's my least favorite from my childhood memories when it comes to the Disney originals. It's my least favorite. Little Mermaid, but I enjoyed the live action remake. I enjoyed all the live action remakes that I've seen so far from Disney. I know some people don't like them for their own reasons, which is fine, but this movie overall was very enjoyable. I'm not going to do like a review or anything, but the soundtrack is really good. Could it have been better? I, I personally, I feel it could have been better, but it is still really good. Um, Haley Berry or Halle Berry. I know it's not Halle Berry, but her name is similar to Halle Berry. The actress that plays Ariel, I'm not too sure exactly how to say it, but she did an amazing job as Ariel. She has an amazing voice, whether it's her actual natural voice, I'm not sure. If it is or isn't, Disney did a wonderful job of making her sound amazing, so the songs on this soundtrack is really good. There is one new song that I did not recognize, I believe it's a new song added for this movie called, where is it? It's like Scuttlebutt or something like that. Yeah, the Scuttlebutt, which is the, the seagull. And it's actually a female that's doing the voice for Scuttle on this movie. And she had her own song called The Scuttlebutt with Sebastian. And I believe that's the only new song on here. I could be wrong. I know Eric, Prince Eric, he did his own little song in the movie. I can't remember if he did in the original. But he had his own song in this soundtrack as well. And it was I thought it was pretty good. So every song on here is really good. Definitely does not compare to the originals, I'll say that. But still very good nonetheless. But... Now that we got that out of the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, if you enjoy content similar to this, please subscribe. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back. But we're going to get into this and just kind of showcase what the collectible cards that are with this soundtrack. And once I get the plastic off, I will put the back of the soundtrack up here, up close, best possible. Hopefully it focuses enough where you can maybe pause it and kind of get an idea of what the soundtrack has for songs. You know, basically you got... Triton's Kingdom, Part of Your World, Fathoms Below, Part of Your World, Under the Sea, you know, Kiss the Girl, stuff like that. And here's the front of the soundtrack, right there, and the spine. You know, open this up. First off, we're just going to show what the cards are. And they're not like actually regular cards, what you would think when you hear of collectible cards. They're like squared cardboard paper or whatever the material this is i'm not sure which is pictures on it and this one is basically like the main picture they've been using for advertisements and posters and whatnot and as you see from the soundtrack itself and this one here i'm not sure if it's nope it's just a picture i guess they probably used on other posters as well but these are pretty cool i like these pictures the artwork and whatnot and that's the back whatever material if you can tell what that is but that's basically these are the collectible cards that target's been doing for their exclusive soundtracks maybe it's just a thing that disney's doing because i know guardians of the galaxy is marvel marvel and disney basically are together now so you know anyways disney the little mermaid here's a little booklet right here and um it's got the lyrics for each song and then the picture is the picture from the song, the collectible card. Then you got Ariel right here. She is beautiful. She really is. She's got a beautiful voice as well. And there's Ursula, Melissa McCarthy, I believe, who played her. She did a good job as Ursula. And right there, some more pictures. And there's Prince Eric and Ariel. I really love that scene from the movie. The movie overall was great. Like I said, it's my least favorite of the live actions. It's the least favorite of my, even the originals is my least favorite of the Disney movies. But this live action was great nonetheless. Um, the remake was great nonetheless. And the soundtrack itself, like I said, is really good as well. I highly recommend checking it out. Definitely for sure. 
And here is the disc artwork, just blue for the Little Mermaid. And it looks like there's probably some artwork under the disc. Under the disc, under the disc, under the disc. Sorry, I just had to. That is my personality, guys. You know that I am so cringe. And there's the artwork that was under the disc, under the disc. Or under the CD, under the CD, under the CD. I don't know the words fully, so I can't really sing it, but sorry. Under the CD sounds better than under the disc, I guess, because under the C. But there you go. And that's the artwork right there. Sorry for that cringe moment, guys. That's just my personality. Whether it entertains you or not, or makes you cringe, makes you maybe possibly click off the video. I apologize if it does. That's pretty bad if it does. I'm sorry. But it's just my personality, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. But that's going to do it for this unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you saw this movie, what you thought about it. And let's not get too in-depth of what you might not like about it or whatever. You can tell me things you didn't like, but for the reasons that people were really against this movie in the first place, I'm not even going to get into that, so don't even bother with that crap. But drop some comments down below. Let me know if you saw it, what you thought about it, if you plan on seeing it, what you think about the soundtrack. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back to watch another one of my videos. I appreciate it, but I will see you in the next one. Take care.